Jerusalem a non-main opposition group called for widespread protests on Sunday in the wake of a powerful bomb attack for which it blamed Syria, posing a challenge to a shaky coalition government that is led by pro-Syrian factions and intensifying fears that Syria's civil war is spilling over into this country. Tensions rippled across Lebanon on Saturday after the Friday attack, which killed Brig. General Wissam al-Hassan, the top Lebanese intelligence official who was of Sydney and seen as a supporter of the rebels fighting to off the Syrian government of Bashar al-Assad. People affiliated thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. With the various opposition groups staged protests, burned tires and fired weapons into the air in Beirut and other cities as they called on the government to resign. Prime Minister Najib Makati said he offered to step down. Although he said President Michel Suleiman asked me to stay for a while longer as he discusses the situation. The offer to resign, and the unrest after the attack, was partly a reflection of Lebanon's continuing sectarian tensions, which are in danger of being stoked by the 19-month uprising across the border in Syria. Mr. McKady thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Is a Sunni, while Hezbollah, the Shiite militant group and his other partners in Lebanon's government are considered supporters of Syria's leadership in its brutal fight against a mainly Sunni uprising. The protests Sunday, called by the March 14th opposition group, are set to coincide with the burial of General Hassan. In a move that could further inflame tensions, former Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri has asked that General Hassan be buried next to the tomb of his father, former Prime Minister Al-Rafiq Hariri an enemy of Mr. Assad's who was assassinated in 2005 in what many here thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Believe was a Syrian plot. Friday's attack, coming as it did against another foe of Mr. Assad and in a similar manner, recalled for many Lebanese the killing of Mr. Hariri, whose death set off widespread unrest and ultimately led to Syria's withdrawing its troops from Lebanon. On Saturday, opposition members had already begun a sit-in in Beirut to demand the resignation of the Prime Minister, whom they accuse of being too close to Shiite and pro-Syria factions. They set up tents, called for the toppling of the government and chanted anti-Hezbollah slogans. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. In an upper-class Sunni neighborhood in Beirut on Saturday evening, roads were blocked and the air smelled of burned tires. A hairdresser whose salon was still open and who declined to give his name, said, they've been burning tires since the morning, said a hairdresser whose salon was still open and who declined to give his name. Who is going to stop them? Nobody will stop them. General Hassan had been under threat ever since he pushed for the August arrest of a pro-Syrian Lebanese politician who was accused of plotting to use explosives to thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Stoke sectarian fears in Lebanon. The bombing Friday could upset the fragile political truce that Lebanon has maintained through the policy of distancing itself from the Syrian conflict, said Paul Salem, an analyst at the Carnegie Middle East Center in Beirut. That truce had kept Mr. McCady in power. He is struggling to maintain legitimacy in his own community, Mr. Salem said on Friday. On Saturday in Syria, war planes struck Maripal no Agman in Idlib province destroying five homes, according to the local coordination committees, an anti-government activist group. Activists reported that dozens of shells thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Had landed in a Damascus suburb. In honor of General Hassan, representatives of the Free Syrian Army, under whose banner myriad units fight in opposition to the Syrian government, said they had renamed the brigade in Damascus in his name. In Damascus, Lagar Brahimit, the envoy representing the United Nations and the Arab League, met on Saturday with Syria's foreign minister, Walid Mulam, in an attempt to secure a ceasefire for a three-day Muslim holiday that begins next week. Turkey has backed calls for a ceasefire, and earlier in the week Mr. Brahimit visited Iran, which is thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Aligned with the Syrian government, as well as Iraq, to build support for the truce. Wada Song reported from Beirut, and Tim Arango from Istanbul. Hania Murtada, Josh Wood and Ann Barnard contributed reporting from Beirut.